Hi and welcome to this video vlog with me Wayne from SwimmingCyclingRunning.com Well some of you will already know that I consider myself to be what I would call a techno tart. That is I, I gravitate towards new technology and try and use it wherever I can to help me do what I do which is coach swimming, cycling and running. So recently and some of you will know this I brought, I bought uh, the DJI Mavic Pro which is a fantastic device and it's really one of the only ways you can follow open water swimmers or runners when they're running uh, either in the field or on a road um, or cyclists even on a track or on a road that you've set up. So I did that but I saw this, a Katana Mavic tray which effectively turns the Mavic Pro into a handheld steady cam that you can use for any of those sports. And I've adapted it in a particular way that I think might help anyone who actually wants to use it in a coaching situation. Let's just set it up the way it would normally be set up if you were using it as it's intended to be used. Okay, so this is how Katana envisage you using your device. You can see I have my smartphone attached with the attachment that fits easily onto the top. And so you can look at what you're doing. You have your gimbal effectively, uh, or steady cam, doing exactly what you want to do. But as a coach, this particular screen is quite small if I immediately want to give reaction to one of my athletes or one of my swimmers. And if you're using something like Coach's Eye on a small phone, it tends to be difficult to use. Plus, because these files, and I'm using either 1080p at 60 or 1080p at 97 frames per second are quite big files. They take a long time to download to a device and therefore use on something like Coach's Eye. So you immediately want to use and you immediately want to give absolutely good feedback. But how do you do that? Well, I've designed a little adaptation. So remember the problem is I want to give really good feedback to my swimmers or athletes. And so I'm going to take away the smartphone and I'm going to take away the smartphone adapter. Let's put that down and away. And I'm going to put a little adapter that you can get virtually anywhere on the Katana. Now that's there. And I'm going to put this on the Katana. Now this is an adapter that can effectively fit an iPad or a tablet and it's going to completely change the feedback that I can actually give to my athlete. I'll show you how it fits in. So I have my iPad in this case and it just fits in in landscape mode, tighten it up. And now I actually have an iPad controlling the Mavic Pro and this gives me phenomenal quality video. I'm going to show you that in a second. Now the adapter I've put on top here is just to make sure that I can tilt the iPad slightly because I don't want it necessarily straight up. I want to be able to look at the iPad as I go along. You don't technically have to do that. You can literally work with this iPad mount um, directly on the Katana. I just feel that tilting it slightly gives me more variability in what I can look at and effectively do for my athletes. So you can see suddenly from a position where I had a small phone I have a massive screen that I can actually use to inform my athletes of what's going on. And to show you a bit of the quality I'll go to the computer and give you an idea of the actual quality of picture that I'm getting out of this that gives immediate feedback. Here we are looking at my iPad screen um, and I'm going to go into the DJI Go 4 program uh, from which will go straight into the view that I have from my DJI Mavic Pro. Um, now you're seeing the desktop that I've got, obviously I'm not out and about at the moment, um, but you, you can still control things. With these arrows on the right you can control the gimbal up and down. Um, and you see I'm looking down. Now I'm looking up again, I can go all the way up uh, to there. Um, but what we're really interested in is these things, this 
little toggle here gives you the uh, videos you've already taken and you can choose from them. So if I click that I can go into the videos I've already taken and I can choose from these and select the one I actually want. And the one we're going to select now is from the National Championships uh, of Swimming um, and when I was using the gimbal to help the swimmer doing backstroke starts. For ease of showing you how these work, I'm, I've actually downloaded them to the iPad and I'm going to show you in Coach's Eye what they actually look like. Um, so we're going to go into effectively this one first. Now this one's being filmed at 60 frames a second, so it's 1080p, 60 frames a second. And you're going to see the quality of this video is absolutely superb. You can see we're trying to learn how to go off that backstroke ledge um, and there he's not getting his feet out of the water so we, we're going to work on this. You can see as we walk along we've got a really smooth picture and we can see exactly what happened all the way through that breakout. So one day we did about six starts each time analysing the results and then the next day we came back and I've changed the settings. And this time I'm doing 97 frames a second. You'll see it's actually slow motion and this is on Coach's Eye. So not only is it slow motion, but I can freeze the action and we can see exactly what's happening. Now here, I think he's applying power before he releases his arms, but not enough power to get his feet over the water. But we are now getting that flick up, which gives him extra acceleration through the water. So this is incredibly smooth footage at 97 frames a second with a phenomenally good picture. Uh, I've never seen a better picture than this in anything I've taken video for. And as he comes to the surface, we can then start looking at each arm stroke and see where the hand enters. We can see the catch there and the drive through, as you can see. And because it's coach's eye, you can do the path and everything else. The other arm, again, entering the water in a very good position and coming through. So, so it gives you that the ability to analyse footage so much better than you had before because it's such a good quality image that you're getting from the Mavic GoPro. So there you have it. When you need immediate feedback to an athlete, you can't necessarily use a small phone. It, it, it's useful, but it's not as useful as you can potentially get it. And so just replace this with another adapter that fits an iPad or tablet. That gives you tremendous resolution and good size and the actual footage you get off the Mavic Pro is good enough to give good feedback without downloading to something like Coach's Eye, which obviously I use all the time. The size of file, either in 1080p or what I often use, which is 1080p at 97 frames a second, is so large that it takes a long time. You've lost the immediacy. But if you just play it from the Mavic Pro DJI app, you get a really good set of footage that the athlete or swimmer sees immediately and can react to. And that's what you want as a coach. So yet another example of how to adapt something to suit yourself and actually get really good feedback for your swimmers, athletes, runners or cyclists. Okay, hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully you'll use that. Um, another complete thing next week, I'll be in Sal in Cape Verde. Hopefully I'll get something out there. See you then. I'll be slightly browner than I am today.